Hi everybody, welcome to the last new moon call in 2020. Such a powerful new moon because there's also a solar eclipse going on. We in India are not being impacted too much by the solar eclipse, but hey, if it's happening anywhere in the world, it's happening all across the world. So it's very possible that we could be feeling emotionally heightened, like our feelings are very strong, like whatever is coming up, it's taking over. Our emotions are in charge right now. And this could be fear, this could be frustration, this could be impatience, or this could be complete calmness. What is it that you are going through? What are your stress levels like? How has your weekend been? Because a new moon and full moon is not just about what happens on that day. It's what also happens leading up to that day. So has your weekend been volatile or has your weekend been fun? I've heard both responses. I've, uh, I've had one person describe the weekend as a volcano erupting and I've had one person describe the weekend as an adventure that's just taking place. So what is it for you? How are you doing right now? Hi, Sudha. Hi, Saira. Hi, Jilly. Hi, Alison. Hi, Fairy Girl. Normally, on a new moon call, we do a entity clearing process. Very simple, very easy to do. It's also why we use all the protection tools of light, lemon, salt, just water, as well as salt water. But today, because there is a solar eclipse, I want to take a look at what's going on with our emotions. Also take a look as to what is going on with taking action. The sun is yang energy. It is masculine. And masculine energy is always about the action, the doing, the testosterone the strength, the stamina, the confidence. So all of this can take a dip when there is a solar eclipse. Although I have to also mention that the sun has been extra powerful in the last few weeks, I think to also make up for the fact that Mars was retrograde and when Mars, which is like total yang and masculine, goes retrograde, our desire to take action, our desire to get out of bed becomes a little low. We're not just so driven anymore. We want to take it easy. So it's also possible that you could be feeling exhausted. You could be feeling tired. You could be feeling where? Like Nishi says, bit of a roller coaster. Bandana has had, Bandana Savant has had a amazing weekend and so has Billy. For Daisy as well, weekend was chilled plus some housework. And Fairy Girl says, that's Farida. She says, oscillation from what the freak to thank you, God. Thank you, God. <laughs> and Alice says, I have been very hyper, some headache. Nishi says, I was in complete thought free Sunday. Saturday also fine, says Barbara. Thank you, my love. Where is Barbara posting? Hi, Minaz. How good to see you all. Thank you so much for joining in. I just want us to do a quick process on bringing ourselves back to calmness. So close your eyes and start focusing on your breath for two minutes. We are in silence as we do this.
superb. When we are taken away by the flows of our feelings and our emotions, one of the best ways to return to a calm river is our breath. Once you have completely connected to your breath, I also want you to be able to see your TV screen in your mind's eye. On the TV screen, see yourself running up or running down stairs. Whether you have run up or whether you have run down, you will come to a landing spot. From the landing spot, up ahead, you see a passage that has doors on either side. Take a step forward, open the door on your left. Check how the room is. Does it need ventilation? Do you need to open a window? Do you need to put on the light? Make sure that you're feeling very good about this room before you step out and go to the room on your right. Make sure that the room on the right is also well lit, well ventilated. You feel good seeing it. Come back out, take a step forward. There's another room on your left. Please dust, sweep, swab, cleanse, clear it. Please do the same for the room on the right. Once these four rooms have been taken care of, once again, take a step forward from the central place. There's another room on the left. Open it, make sure that it's a room where you feel safe, good, and welcome, and then do the same for the room on the right side. Once that's done, you come back again into the center and start moving ahead. And as you're moving ahead, whatever is in front of you starts dissolving and you start coming into open space, but on top of a cliff. It's a bright, sunny day, cool, calm breeze, whatever it is that you're wearing. Suddenly, the wings on your back open up. And you take a step forward from the cliff and you fly. You are flying over oceans, land, you are flying high and towards the clouds. You can see beneath you these bodies of forests, 
these bodies of light in cities, these houses looking so tiny, some more oceans, and then you turn over like you're preparing for a dive and you start coming back in towards an ocean, clear, bright, blue ocean. There is not a shred of fear or doubt in your mind that you're going to love entering this ocean. And you do smoothly like a dolphin. And you come out as well like a dolphin. On the ocean, you now float. Even if the ocean was rough, you are riding the waves. In fact, there is an invisible raft beneath you. You are riding the waves peacefully. And as you're riding these waves, you sense in the distance that a large ship is coming towards you. And this ship has all of us. And there are lights and there's music and there's foods and there's celebration and there's the clinking of glasses. And as the ship comes closer and closer, your raft moves closer and closer to it. And then everybody sees you in this invisible raft and starts telling everybody. Everybody starts getting excited that you're going to join them. And they put down the ladder you go up the ladder onto the ship where everybody welcomes you on board. Perhaps you need a change of clothes to fit into this party. Perhaps you are comfortable the way you are. Somebody hands you a drink, gives you a place to sit, and all your friends start crowding around you because they all want to hear from you. You start speaking and the scene starts dimming till all you have is a knowing that you are on this ship with all of us listening and being listened to, sharing and caring together. Bring your attention back to my voice and your body in this dimension. Make sure that your feet are comfortable and relaxed. This means that your knees will fall out a little bit. Please let them. Make sure that your thighs, your bum, your hips are completely relaxed. And in this relaxed position, please raise your spine up from the bottom of your body. Lengthen yourself. Sit tall. Sit strong. You are doing this very gently. You are not forcing the muscle. You are working with the breath. Make sure that your shoulders are down, relaxed, square. Moment you square your shoulders, your chest will come up. You are now breathing in, filling up and expanding the chest. And when you breathe out, the diaphragm collapses. Your inner abdomen gets involved, contracts, and you expel all the carbon dioxide. Purposely and consciously relax your cheeks, your jaws, your mouth, your palate. Expertly and consciously relax your ears and the area around your ears. Mindfully and consciously relax your entire skull. Finally, make sure that your forehead is totally calm, not a sign of a frown or even a wrinkle. It is completely smooth. Keeping your eyes closed, you will return again to the inflow and the outflow of your breath.
you are calmer and quieter now. And even though your eyes are closed, you are smiling now. Rub your palms till some warmth comes between them. Put the warmth over your eyes by cupping them. Blink, blink, blink. And while blinking rapidly, bring your palms down. Look to your left. Check the room you are in. Look to your right. Check the room you are in. Look ahead. Look up. Turn around as much as you can. Look behind on your left. Look behind on your right. And then have a sip of your turbocharged water. More than a sip. When you're ready, tell me how you're doing. Nan, I see that you're not being able to repair the room on the right, though the left happened, and you said it's very scary and suffocating. How are you doing right now? Let me tell you the three rooms we went into. The first set of rooms were our ears. The second set of rooms were our eyes. And the third set of rooms were our nostrils. We're all open and clear. Were you able to open and clear all? Minas says, relaxed, good, superb. And Minas, did you tell us how your weekend was and how, how you are feeling? Like Pooja says, her weekend was dull and gloomy. How are you now? Donna, how are you feeling about the lump on the, ne on the neck? Menas says, feeling a bit apprehensive. Complete the sentence, Menas. I'm feeling a bit apprehensive because... Nishtha says, feeling so much calmer now. Rupali says, first set of rooms was on fire, was busy fighting the fire. Rupali, are you in a situation where you're hearing a lot of rubbish, like lots of fiery stuff? Thank you, Sonal, for the angel message of 555. And 555 has to do with communications, socializing, focus, mindfulness but also creativity and jumping from idea to idea to idea. Let us receive the energy from this as well and see what shows up for us during the call or after the call is over. Alpa says, I like the smell of lemons, but feeling very nauseous with the smell right now. And lemons, so something's happening, something's gone into the lemons. Alpa, please remove these lemons into your garbage bag immediately. And if you are comfortable, please make sure that you take a fresh pear. Not pear, sorry. That you take a fresh one and cut it into half. If you're not comfortable, you just want to avoid them, go ahead. The Pali says first room on the left was shabby and dirty. Did you clean it? Did you put in new furniture? Did you put on the light? Daisy says, felt nice, especially when I went up to the ship and everyone was all dressed up and partying. <laughs> yeah, I saw everybody dressed up. First I saw some lights and suddenly there were that many more lights on the ship. And I saw some food and then I saw this entire buffet of food. And I also saw some of us in bikinis. So good for us and yay and yes to that. Dilly says, all rooms are bright, warm, clean. Fantastic. 
Amog says, first room on left was a bit dark when I opened. I could clear it and lit it up with golden light. Dark rooms, when we see dark rooms, they can signal the presence of an entity. They can also signal the presence of just ignorance. Things have happened and things have just gotten stuck over there and they haven't been processed. Because when energy flows, it is light. When energy stops flowing, it becomes grayer, murkier, and darker. So Amok, check what is going on with your life. Have you also shut your ear to receiving something? Are you also having to listen to a lot of rubbish? Like criticism, like judgment, like taunts, like sarcasm. And Rupali says, and some of it from my own head, well, our head is the best parrot in the world. So whatever shows up maximum for it, it will start repeating. Nishi says, I feel re refreshed and relaxed, smiled all the way through. Superb! Sonal says, yes. Felt beautiful. Excellent. Ashi says, in a few of the rooms, I saw myself in the form of a superhuman and I kept blowing in the, in the d whole dust and removing it. Not sure why I saw that. You saw that because you saw your super consciousness at work. Pyle says, my rooms were okay, simple, neat, but needed more light. I trust you gave it. Pyle. Angelia says, feeling energized and relaxed. Superb. Alison says, should we have our candles on either side lit? Yes, my love. We actually lit it just as the call started. Please light them. Hansa says, feeling calm. Superb. Mandy says, much calm. I was feeling a lot of stress. The first two rooms were blocked and stuffy. And blocked and stuffed, the first two rooms were our years. So what have you heard in your life, Mandy, that has gotten stuffed and is blocking you? And how is your hearing in general? Do you tend to block out sentences or do you hear them very well? Anju says, I was not able to visualize at all. Not to worry at all, my darling. Some of us have gifts that are beyond visualization and that is the gift of sense. So as long as you had a sense of what was going on, that's also fine. Some of us can even hear the commands materializing as audio. As in, you will hear that the sound of the room being cleaned, cleared, and lit up. Please light the candles, Dipali. Alison says, was so happy to join the ship and party. Felt so welcomed and as though with real friends. Who loved me and it is also one of my desires my darlings that we all meet and we all have this wonderful retreat with yoga and chats and chilling and playing handball and tennis and generally you know very young games like hopscotch and all but I also have another intention that that at some point all in divine timing so at some point that we spend New Year's together, that we bring in a new year, that we watch the sunset, sorry, the sunset on the old year and the sunrise on a new one, all of us together. Yes to that. And Linda, most certainly my love, everything can be done on the replay. Vandana says, fantastic journey, left room, uh, there was red, green, had to open for bright light. Journ journey over the ocean and white rope with white wings, beautiful. The ship reminded me with, your, with our billionaire club with necklace, war, and the gentleman enjoying did not want to come back. Super, wow, now, yes, and yay. Alison says, cleaning rooms seemed simple and unemotional. Good. Sahana says, laptop stopped working. Everybody, let us quickly just say, Sahana's laptop, you can start working now. I don't know if you can hear this, Sahana, but the energy will reach you and your laptop. 
Manas says, I saw big windows in my room. Superb. In all three of them, Manas? And please join me in a water break. Alice says, first set of rooms I saw Archangel Michael, second set Unicorn, third set White Tara. Mwah! Precious, so precious. Nilima says, my first room was like a transulent platform. Took a while to make it solid. And does this also happen to you in general, Nilima? Do, uh, do you need to hear something more than once for it to become solidified in your reality or in your understanding. Sonal says, felt so welcome on the ship. Could feel the glasses clinging, lit up beautifully and dressed up in a beautiful red dress. Fantastic. We see you, Sonal, and you look gorgeous. Thank you for helping out, Nilu. Nilima says, my fourth room was the best. Nishra says, have been feeling very tired, exhausted, sleepy, First set of rooms were easy to clean, somewhat dusty, needed light. Second set of rooms, left one was scary, and the right one, not as scary, but dark, clent and lit them well. Fantastic. Nishtha, check. Are your eyes seeing better and sharper right now? I love taking the flight, she says, and instantly took off from the cliff. Could have, could have kept flying to the clouds. True, my darlings. It is all our... our our desires that we that we go upward, upwards and onwards. The sky always gives us a sense of freedom and light. But for us to reach the sky, we must be very well grounded on earth. And, and where better than on a wonderful ship on the ocean of consciousness with all of our friends. The sea was calm and clear, she says, love being on the ship, felt so prosperous and happy, like a billionaire. Fantastic. And Farida says the ship name was the Mystic Lotus and Dragonfly. I love it. <laughs> yes, do that. The first set of doors, the left was clear, right was a little stuck, but then opened up and I got it lit up. So is something going on with your right here, Farida, and check? Can you sense any difference in it? The second and third were beautiful and magical. The cliff was awesome. And I felt like a happy, happy soaring up when I went down the cliff. I'm assuming it's soaring up. The ship was so beautiful. And, and me, she says, with a glass of red. <laughs> I don't drink wine, but I'm very happy to hold a glass. I, mean, I don't drink alcohol, but I'm very happy to hold a class with all of us. I had worn lovely, flowy white and gold brocade and for the first time have seen myself with blonde hair, she says, wow, wow. Nandini says, my room on left was cluttered and dusty, but intentions made it warm and cozy. I love that, Nandini, I love that, but intentions made it warm and cozy, so beautiful. On the right, it is dark, so I've left a lantern there. I cannot think what else to do. Not in the stomach growth, cannot see anything in the room. Nandini, just rush back there, my darling. The simplest way to put on lights in a room is just put your hand out on one of the walls. You will find a switch. Moment you put on the switch, the chandelier will come on. Andrea says, such a beautiful experience. The left side, the first room was beautiful. All other rooms were dirty, beautiful after cleaning, good. The flying experience, so lovely, always want to fly, why not? Hansa says, second room was dusty, so cleaned it, good, good. Minaz says, all my rooms were same, big with big windows. This is really good, Minaz. You may have all gifts. I mean, we all have all gifts, but some of us have some gifts as primary, but your gift of clairvoyance, clairaudience, as well as clairsentience could be quite powerful. Uh, Markaba Healings, my love, what is your name? Don't worry, my darlings. You can catch this on the replay. Right now, just flow with us. 
Hansa says what is to be done of salty water and salt. Hansa, we'll get to that and I think just about a couple of minutes. I just want to see what everybody has had in their rooms. Pyle says I lit many lights to all rooms. I also saw a beautiful face of an angel or Mother Mary. Fantastic. You know, all of these energies reside within us. Whether it's Christ consciousness, whether it is Mother Mary, whether it is Durga Ma, whether it is Saraswati Ma, whether it is Lakshmi Ma, whether it is Sai Baba, whether it is Guru Nanak Ji, all of these energies reside within us. When we see them, we are seeing what they are doing in our bodies at the present moment. Mandy says, I have stuffed a lot of my mother's stuff down, held a lot of her secrets since childhood. These days I realize I block what I don't want to hear. I have noticed this last couple of years, my hearing is much lower. You can leave now, 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 you can leave now. I no longer need to carry my mother's stuff. I no longer need to be carrying, no, I no longer need to be stuffed with my mother's stuff. I no longer need to carry my mother. I used to be stuffed with my mother's stuff. Not anymore. I am free to be me now. Monal says what was a bit scared while diving in like a dolphin, but managed to just dip in and come out. Good, my girl, good. Once on the ship, after change in dress, saw myself in a white and diamond gown. Awesome gown, sorry. When we are afraid of the ocean, we are afraid of our emotions because we are afraid of consciousness because all consciousness, knowing, awareness comes to us from a direct and deep relationship with our emotions because emotions are true not. Your mind can lie, your body and your feelings can't. So wherever it is that you're afraid of your knowing, afraid of your power, afraid of the mindfulness that is medicine, afraid of your feelings. You can all leave now, 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 you can all leave now. You can all leave now. You can all leave now, 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 you can all leave now. You can all leave now. Hansa says, I saw C facing windows in first room, was very happy. One second, my darling. So Hansa, are you a C baby? Mina says, enjoyed the flight to see the vast ocean and forest and felt very elated. Superb. Superb. Because we are off the body but we are also not of the body. We are also of the sky, and we are also of the water, and we are also of the earth. Nishi, Barbara said, my rooms were quite contrary. First left, empty, silvery. Right was gold and lit. Second left, dusty, bars on window. I dusted, replaced the window by a totally new one. Right room, golden, old style furniture, but richly equipped. Third, left, sunny, many pictures, colorful. Third, right, light blue, nice. Ship felt pure love. When flying up was a blue magenta fairy. When in the ocean was a mermaid. Wonderful, wonderful. Mermaid on board, everybody. <laughs> Fantastic. And because we know that the left stands for receiving, for the past, for our mother, for yin, for emotions, for asking. Something minor is left, Barbara, in the relationship with your mother. The right being the way it is. Either you've had a very powerful experience with God at an early age, and by God, I just mean a sense of connection with everything, or you have had a father who's tried his best to make up for whatever was lacking with the mother. Monal says, first right of room was not so clear, and otherwise, all rooms felt the same decor. So something's going on in your left 
your monal. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look. Yours. You can hear better now. Eyes. You can see better now. Nose. You can breathe better now. You can hear better now. You can see better now. You can breathe better now. You are better now. Every day in every way, you are better and better now. You are an expert at being better and better every day in every way now. Being better and better every day in every way, you can increase now. You can increase now, you can increase now, you can increase now, you can increase now, you can increase now. You can increase now. Have some water, everybody. Let us support the energies in shifting and let us see what more is coming up. Mona says, best moment was flying from the tip of the cliff. <laughs> yeah. No, how was it? Like when you saw your wings, were they large wings? Were they small wings? Were they colored wings? Were they white wings? Were they black wings? Neelima, we're just, yes, we definitely need to do this all circle, my love. But right now, we're just finishing with our journey of the rooms and the ship. Alison says, just received warning from Facebook that I violate rules when posting. New moon, you can behave yourself now. Alison, give me 30 seconds. I'm just going to send a clearing for this because clearly this is some algorithm that's gone little bonkers. And done. Alison, keep us posted. So when you post next, see what comes up. Alba says, got disconnected a couple of times. Also realize that my left ear is feeling like filled with vacuum. Is there a vacuum in your life when it comes to your mother, Alba? Or a vacuum in your life when it comes to your mother expressing love? Nandini says, she switched it on and 50 white tube lights lit up to reveal a long room like a soup kitchen. I get the message that I need to be present for group healings. Thank you. My room is basic, but so inviting. Love to all of us here on the call. She said, thank you, Nandini. Tripling or tripling this love and sprinkling it over all of us. Vandana says, getting fragrance of slight burns of paper on and off from my left nostril. And this could be anger leaving, hatred leaving, resentment leaving, even jealousy leaving. So it's all right, my love. Let it go. Oh, wait. It also feels like little amount of grief leaving. Surendra says, my head is automatically moving. That's right, because... Yours, eyes, and nose is coming into alignment. Alice says, I can still feel the diamond tiara on my head from the changing of the outfit. The Pali's rooms were for some movie or the other. <laughs> and movies that you enjoyed seeing, were they happy scenes? Were they tragic scenes? What have you taken from movies that might be disrupting and disempowering you right now? And we've got amazing wings that have happened, transparent wings, white wings, immense white wings, white large wings, large white silvery wings. I love it. White wings belong to guardian angels. White wings, especially depending on the size of their, of their wings, could be easily telling you that it is part of your life purpose to take care of others to be protective towards them, to be more kind and more loving towards them. That wherever you may have anger and resentment towards people, because guardian angels are of course existing for all of earth and all its beings, but guardian angels 
the guardian angels I refer to right now are the ones who would be taking care of and helping humanity. Pyle says, I was always afraid of heights and water, but today I was enjoying flying and swimming. Superb. And Alpa says, well, yes, while expressing love or even myself, I do feel a loss of expression. You can leave now. You can leave now. You can leave now. You can leave now. Monal says, large, large grayish transparent wings. So Monal, your wings are still coming into I was going to say work, but work is not uh, work. Work is not the correct, exact energy. Your wings are work in progress. You know, it's like from the Lord of the Rings. First, Gandalf was grey, and of course, I'm taking it for granted that everybody knows Lord of the Rings. But even if you don't, I think you'll get the reference. Gandalf was Gandalf the grey, and then Gandalf became Gandalf the white after he went through a life-changing experience. So, Munal, I feel like that is what is going on with your wings as well. All right, my darlings, have lots and lots of water. And now, dipping your fingers into your salt water Please create a circle around you. Keep your drinking water out of this circle. Keep the glass of water that I have asked because water absorbs a lot of energy and water is terrific for taking away entities. As is fire, of course. As are lemons. Sprinkle this circle of water all around you. I have, I have mentioned this before, but for those of y'all who are doing this with me for the first time, the salt water circle is a circle of protection. And normally in Vika, they use just salt. But I have seen that when I used just salt, one, it got scattered. And two, if you've got furniture or carpet close by, the salt goes into places that you can't fully collect. But salt water is very easy to dab up and see, and see where it is still present so you can swab it away, which is why I prefer to keep salt with us, but use salt water. And the salt water has to be extremely salty water, like the Dead Sea. So please take that and just sprinkle it in a circle around you. Make sure that it is not falling on your electronics. Keep your lemon, candle, salt, glass of plain water inside the circle. Only your drinking water is outside the circle. Once it's done, one of y'all give me the sign to continue. In the meantime, we've got red golden wings, beautiful copper, shiny green uh, on the tips. Uh, Donna, this is a relationship with fairies, uh, also some dragons. Nishtha says, huge angelic wings white, golden with silver too. Fantastic. White large wings. You are all guardian angels, my darlings. You have come here to raise the consciousness of humanity and repair all your karmic relationships. Karmic relationships are relationships that are very close to us. Family, close friends, exes we can't forget. These are all karmic relationships. Thank you, Vandana. She says, done with salt water circle. All right, my darlings. We will have another sip of water, drinking water, which is outside the circle. So bring it into the circle. Make sure you're completely hydrated because for the fi next five to eight minutes, we will not be reaching out of the circle.
On today's entity clearing call, I want to introduce you to a set of demons for hire. You know, in some cultures, we have we have these very frightening masks. Have you all seen them? Oriental culture to to a very minor extent in the Indian culture as well. But these are masks we then put outside our house, and they are meant to negate negativities. You all know these masks? They're frightening looking masks. These masks are actually representatives of demons for hire. Demons for hire are demons who eat up and thrive on negativities. And I'm using the word entity to cover a whole slew of energies. Negativities, darkness, ignorance, jealousies, ill will, curses, dark spells, black magic. Before we give the decree, I want you to invite your demon for hire. Your demon for hire will have a name. And what you're going to say to call your demon for hire in is say, demon who eats entities. You are hired now. Demon who swallows entities, you are hired now. Demon that digests entities, you are hired now. You'll have a sense of either an energy coming or in your mind's eye or in another sense in the body, you might even be able to see a sense of the face, of the body, of the shape. It need not be, it need not be how you think it should be. And however it is, it is not threatening because this demon doesn't really have anything to do with the human body. So however, in whatever shape and form it's showing up, ask your demon, which you have now called and employed, its name. Do not tell anybody the demon's name. Because when we know the demon's name, the demon answers to us. The demons are not meant to be shared. It may be a funny sounding name. It might even be a name sounding like a sound, like a guttural sound, like a oh. However it is, get familiar. Now, ask your demon. Using the demon's name, this is very important for you to establish your hierarchy. And you will, you will ask the demon, let us say it is a guttural sound like, Ugh. so, uh, are you hungry now? Can we start? Chances are, he or she, she could be a demoness as well, will say yes. They're always hungry. Once you have their opt-in and we and we ask for their opt-in because we will treat our demons well we will treat those in our employee well, in our in our employ well starting the decrees entities you can leave now be gone be gone be gone removed jealousies you can leave now be gone be gone be gone removed Ill will, you can leave now. Be gone, be gone, be gone. Removed. Bullies, you can leave now. Be gone, be gone, be gone. Removed. Twisted energies, you can leave now. Be gone, be gone, be gone. Removed. Depraved energies, you can leave now. Be gone, be gone, be gone. 
removed. Parasitical vampire energies, you can leave now. Be gone, be gone, be gone. Removed. Curses, you can leave now. Be gone, be gone, be gone. Removed. Black magic spells. This lifetime or any other, you can leave now. Be gone, be gone, be gone. Removed. Dark magic and dark magic spells. This lifetime or any other, you can leave now. Be gone, be gone, be gone. Removed. Cruel, mean, vicious, sadistic, spiteful energies. You can leave now. Be gone, be gone, be gone. Removed. Negativities. You can leave now. Be gone, be gone, be gone. Removed. Dark energies. You can leave now. Be gone, be gone, be gone. Removed. Ignorance. You can leave now. Be gone, be gone, be gone. Removed. Curses. Dark spells. Black magic. Jealousies. Ill will. Coming down seven generations of seven elder mothers and seven elder fathers. On my mother's side, your mother's side, my father's side, your father's side. You can all leave now 100 trillion times. You can all leave now, 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 you can all leave now. You can all leave now. Be gone, be gone, be gone. Removed. Banished. Deactivated. Disabled. Unplugged. Declamped. Take your demon's name. Allah, you can eat all of these energies now. You can digest all of these energies now. You can process all of these energies now. You can stay till you are finished and then you can leave now. Thank you for doing such a good job. Finish the processing. Like Maya says, I feel very sick now. Maya, I would need you to... Okay, I don't want you to bring in the drinking, drinking water at this point because the demons are still eating. Maya, hold your ring finger on the left side with your right hand. I'm doing a clearing. The fears of being cleansed and cleared. You can leave now. I'm so used to these entities and these horrible, negative, terrible energies. You can leave now. I'm very good at being ambushed and attacked by these energies. You can leave now. These energies are my comfort zone, my familiarity and my knowing. You can leave now. The fear of the new, the fear of being purer, the fear of being sattvic. The, the fear of being completely healed and totally in your own power. 
you can leave now 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 i'm also sensing quite a bit of anger showing up this anger may not be yours it may be the anger of people who have wished you ill and sent you this these hot energies so just allow it to process anger you can leave now be gone be gone be gone removed once it is done and you know that your demon has finished please reach out of your circle have lots and lots of water put the water back outside your circle sprinkle salt water one more time in the circle and by the way if candles go out or finish during these calls please just keep a backup set to relight or light fresh ones Alison says felt apprehensive to employ felt apprehensive to employ a demon for fear it would stay let it stay ma this is a demon for hire for dark energies it will not do anything to us Vandana says feeling lighter feeling coolness in either side of ears and back of the head burn smell reduced so now i'm i'm seeing that as the anger that i saw this is good how are you doing now maya please always eat an hour before if you eat too close to the call and we do this we can feel sick if we haven't eaten an hour before we can feel sick and sometimes it's just scary to be in a new energy and sometimes it's not even our scaredness it's the scaredness of that particular energy that has been feeding off us parasitical leech energies you can leave now be gone be gone be gone removed banished unplugged deactivated 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 declamped and now everybody my darlings please say the unique word that is primarily for entities please say i am deentitized now on the new moon calls that we will do next year you know it's it's when you developed a muscle you have to tone it strengthen it strengthen it make it leaner and then you have to maintain it on our new moons we will always have a section that is for releasing entities that is for making sure that we are deentitized now and the set the preparation ritual will stay the same lemons candles salt regular water drinking turbocharged water salt water and from now on we will also start calling in our demons for hire and call them demons for hire don't call them demons because that might give rise to another energy in our left brain yeah burn smell comes when uh, anger is burning hanta anger jealousy jealousy also gives rise to a very foul smell and hanta says could smell burning of lemon good very good so the lemon is absorbing the anger lemons absorb fantastically and so does water you know water just sucks it away everything that you are still feeling right now like bina says feeling a lot of pressure on my face side top head and ears pulling bina take both your hands clasp this energy around your head and pull it towards your glass of plain water it will start moving there automatically 
And Daisy says, says hungry after you said the decrease demon was eating like Pac-Man and was happy eating. Superb. And thank you so much, Daisy. We will now call them demon Pac-Man. So it's not just demon and that we're calling in demons. They are Pac-Man demons. Pac-Man demons. Excellent. Angelia says, my left side lemon dried. All lemons need to be put in the garbage bag and the garbage bag needs to be put outside the house. Water has to be flushed away. If you have lit tea lights, tea lights must also be, the, the, the empty tea lights must also be put in the garbage bag and put outside. The water, the salt water, the salt must be all flushed away. So you put it in your WC and you flush it away. You can take cotton or tissue paper, a couple of tissue papers, Clean up the salt water circle, not right now, my darlings, after the call is over. You clean up the salt water, put that also in the garbage bag and put it outside your house or wherever it is that, that, is, uh, that gets the garbage bag away from your environment. I remember on one of these calls, the salt water itself showed this this uh, murky sticky energy at the bottom so check your salt water Nepali says my dog is sitting in the circle with me giving me a strange look I feel like he's saying I am with you know why did you call this one <laughs> I'm here right why do you have to call somebody else Nisha says, I'm feeling fresher and stronger. Smile on my face once this got done. Just some pain in the legs. You can leave now. Kamni says, sneezed very strongly after process. That's anger and confusion and stress exiting the body very strongly. Thought is the fastest thing in the body. And there is also science uh, that has research that says thought might even be faster than light. But the second fastest thing in the body is a sneeze. Donna says, forgot my lemons, but I have everything else. Lump under left ear, little less, large, but tender. Tender is also good, so it will dissolve. Donna, are you taking some bark flowers? Allison says, extreme pain and diaphragm. You can leave now. You can leave now. You can leave now. Allison, I want you to hold the harmony hold. Thumb in the center of the palm or all fingers in the center of the palm. Do it on the left palm. Sudha says black candle emitted a sizzling sound suddenly and that's the black candle releasing an entity and protecting you. Feeling very powerful and empowered and protected by the demon. Something left my gut and felt good. One candle extinguished. I have no doubt that you lit it up again. Mandy says feels good to have a Pac-Man demon to help. I think it ate a lot and I feel happier and free. Thank you, Pac-Man Demon, for helping. You know, these Pac-Man Demons, they are so incredible, you don't even need to say thank you. But as a matter of courtesy and how we want to be with every being we come across, we want to say thank you. So we say thank you. They don't even wait for us to say thank you. They do their thing and they leave. They are very basic and very primitive energies. So no more is required with them, except to know their name, because their name binds them to you. Nishtha says, I felt Kalima came to help. And by the way, Kalima is the goddess of these Pac-Man demons, as, and the male counterpart is Lord Shivji. Alpha says, my salt water looks a bit yellowish. Yeah, look at your salt water. There might be something at the bottom. Uh, bubbles might be coming out. It might look like it's frothing on top. All of these are signs of entities and entities leaving. If you've got this going on with your salt water, please break your circle, step out, flush this salt water away immediately. Daisy says, do we need to wait for all candles to finish burning and throw away? As I use one tea light, which will take longer ideally you would let it all burn out because this is the purpose of the light you have lit and it must finish its purpose mina says slight headache and heaviness on the eyelids and this can also happen if you have not eaten 
correctly or not hydrated yourself as much as I need you to. I need you to be hydrated on every call. Every call that you do with everybody. But on the new moon calls, I need you to be extra hydrated, especially if there's a solar eclipse. Like Neelima says, salt water has black grainy stuff on the side. Immediately, please go and flush it out and also just rinse out your bowl in the bathroom itself. None of this material must go into the kitchen sink. It will be cleaned in the bathroom, wiped dry in the bathroom, put in a plastic cover and kept aside for the next new moon. Moon says pressure. Forehead and eyes, not gone totally. Pressure, you can leave now. Be gone, be gone, be gone. Removed, but has reduced, she says. Superb. Suman, yes, both candles are next to whatever, wherever you're sitting. I'm saying laptop because I use a laptop. But wherever you're sitting, it's on your left side and your right side. Vandana says, my salt water glass, salt layer set at the bottom. Thank you so much for pointing this out. When we mix the salt water and we want it to be so salty, make sure that you have stirred it. You can put salt and then pour the water from a height on it so that it gets stirred. The water has to be extremely salty. Donna says, I have batch flowers, mimulus, are oh, lovely, lovely. Superb. And do you have them every day, Donna? Alison, do you have batch flowers? How is the pain in your diaphragm? And by the way, my darlings, this is how our new moon calls go. They are, they are like the shortest calls I do. They take place within 15 minutes to one hour. In case you need to leave, please make sure that you've cleansed and cleared your place well, that you know what to dispose of, that your candles, if they are lit, Continue to stay lit till the night is over. On new moon night, I would also like you all to put on lights in your house, including in your bathrooms. If you have porch lights, please put on porch lights. If you have balconies, please put out a candle or a tea light in the balcony. Basically, on a new moon night, we do as much as possible to keep our lights burning and on. The porch light is to be kept lit throughout the night. Farida says salt water has layer below. Immediately, my darling, please flush it out. Hansa says, does moving pain in abdomen relate to entities? It can. It can because we can get so uh, we can get so attached to them and they to us that. Uh, that they can end up sitting in these places, sitting in our abdomen, sitting in our colon, sitting in our chakras. So when, when we are letting them go, if they have been long enough, and Hansa, were you on the chronic project protocol call? Like, has it become a habit to have this pain when something is releasing or letting go? Because whatever it is, it doesn't matter whether it's toxic or good, or healthy or unhealthy, if we've gotten used to it, there will be some anxiety and pain, even sadness at letting it go. Headaches happen in letting go as well. Alison, how is the pain? Nikita says, can we leave the circle now? Yes, my darlings, our work is done. We are just closing down and we're gonna sign out in the next couple of minutes. Please go right ahead. You can start breaking up and dispersing all the items we had for preparation. Nana says, after flushing salt water, can we use the glass again after washing it? Keep this glass aside for our new moon calls. Most of my new moon and full moon calls are at no charge, and we keep putting them up on Facebook, on our home groups, as well as sending out emails as well. So as long as you're in touch, with us, you will get notifications of these. Preeti says there's something in the melted wax of the candle, which is continuously moving and dancing around the flame. Should I throw the candle too? No, the flame will take care of it. Let it do its work. You can also have fire entities. And when I say entities, I meant in a good way this time. You can have fire entities who are also doing the work. Allison says down to six, feels bruised, 
and stubborn. I don't want to let this go. You can leave now. I don't want to heal this. You can leave now. I don't want to change this. You can leave now. I want, I need, I feel good being bruised and hurt. You can leave now. I need to stay in pain. You can leave now. You can all 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 leave now. And Alison, for you as well as for Donna, I am seeing, I'm seeing enormous fear. You know what? Let's just do a clearing on fear. Fears, you can leave now. My mother's fears, you can leave now. My father's fears, you can leave now. My child's fears, you can leave now. My fearful mother, you can leave now. My fearful father, you can leave now. My fearful child, you can leave now. I no longer need to carry my family's fears. I no longer need to be defined by my family's fears. I no longer need to be fearful. I no longer fear. I no longer need to relate to fears. I no longer relate to fears. Fears, you can all leave now, 100 trillion times. You can all leave now, 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 you can all leave now. You can all leave now. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Removed. If you have pain, please also use the very simple tips of clapping in front of the area of pain. Keeping your hands on wood, which is very neutralizing for pain energies. And if you're not able to clap, click and snap with your fingers. Bowl of salt also. Everything into the WC. What cannot be put in the WC has to be put in the garbage bag and put out of the house. Barbara says, feeling very well, had the notion something caused a distant relief with the seven generations clearing, some inner knowing of it. Thank you. And for Barbara, the salt water bottom shows little white crystals. Fantastic. They've gone easily. Amok says, several burps in the last few minutes also. Left side of my skull feels lighter than before now. Nilima says, do I need to make another circle as I had stepped out? It's all right, Nilima. We're good now. Our Pac-Man demon would be doing its job. Very quickly, my darlings, in order for us to have a complete nest for the call, I just want you to run up the stairs or down the stairs. Please check room on the left, room on the right, step ahead. Room on the left, room on the light, oh sorry, right. Step ahead, room on the left, room on the right. Run forward off the top of the cliff and fly straight to the ship. I will see you on it, my darling. The party continues. Be well. Well be, be safe, safe be, be protected, protected be, be blessed, blessed be. Big love, big hug. You are all looking gorgeous in your party finery and I'm loving seeing you all so much. Namaste from India.